Welcome into Motorsports Monday. It was an exciting weekend in the motorsports world with NASCAR at Indianapolis and the biggest local short track race of the summer happening here in Florence, Kentucky. And we have highlights of both starting with NASCAR. The historic Indianapolis Motor Speedway hosted NASCAR on the track's road course on Sunday. Only three races left until the playoffs with several drivers still looking to punch their ticket. The three fastest cars earlier in this one were all drivers not included into the playoffs right now. Michael McDowell, Daniel Suarez, and Chase Elliott. McDowell able to get past pole sitter Suarez and take the win in stage one. Remember, no cautions at the end of stages at road courses uh, this year, so this allowed for some strategy to play out. Diddy Hamlin able to stretch his fuel until the end of stage two to get the stage win, but after he pitted, that handed the lead back to the three fast cars that we've been talking about. Now, if you're a usual NASCAR fan, you may not have heard much about Michael McDowell this season, but he had the best car in the race, and boy, did he take advantage of that, holding off one of NASCAR car's best road racers, Chase Elliott. This is no fluke win for him either. McDowell won last year's Daytona 500 and, and is an experienced road racer himself in multiple different disciplines. Here's a look at the top five from this one. McDowell punches his ticket to the playoffs with the win, with Chase Elliott finishing second. He is still looking for a win in the final two races before those playoffs. Suarez finished third after a slow final pit stop with Tyler Reddick and Alex Bowman rounding out the top five. NASCAR heads to Watkins Glen next week for a more traditional road course race. Locally now, Florence Speedway hosted the biggest week in racing here in Kentucky last week. The headliner was this one, the North-South 100 Saturday night with $75,000 on the line. Some of the best late model drivers in the whole country putting on a show in this one. Bobby Pierce able to get past Ricky Thornton Jr. and Hudson O'Neill, and he's able to run away in the final 10 laps to get his second career North-South 100 win. The track looked absolutely packed with fans and many of the fans were camped out all week. Unfortunately, I was unable to make it, but I am clearing my schedule for next year. Here's a look at the top five from this race. Pierce won uh, this one with Ricky Thornton finishing second. Hudson O'Neill in third. He led the most laps in this one. Jonathan Davenport, he finished fourth with Dalton Wilson rounding out the top five. Another huge weekend on the way this weekend with the Butterball Memorial from Richmond Raceway with action both Friday and Saturday. The purse for that one, $20,000. So a huge race taking wow. place in Madison County. And then Lake Cumberland the following weekend has another big race. So this is the biggest month of the year for racing here in Kentucky. Never going to make that mistake again of letting a vacation get in the way of your camping out it was It wasn't only Florence <laughs> and then Indianapolis is a short drive too because NASCAR and IndyCar on. were both on there. Um, and we'll have a little bit more Motorsports Monday talk actually coming up on the radio, ESPN oh, nice. radio here in Lexington. That's right. One of our radio partners. Very I cool. will be on there um, with Matt Lawrence talking a little motorsports at 1030. So if you want a little bit more, a little bit more in-depth detail and a little chit-chat, uh, you can tune in there at 1030. I'm convinced every time on that Florence track those guys are going around I know. they're just gonna start tumbling I mean uh, it, it just looks really precarious Yeah, and those I mean it's really impressive there weren't a lot of local drivers that finished high in that race but some mm. of the best drivers from across the whole country came right here to Florence Kentucky Northern Kentucky wow. for that one. So, hence the crowd yep all right Absolutely. we'll see you there next year yes